What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and I've been working with a new build on Maya, which revolves around the Trickster Calm and the Pimpernel, and I wanted to give you guys a quick little preview of this build in the Bar Brawl. I forgot to turn on the quest there, so I'm going to run over to the little board and activate this quest. Now this is just a very short little demo, obviously, because this quest doesn't take but about a minute to complete, but I'll go ahead and give you an illustration of what's going on. I'm using the Trickster Calm to boost Life Tap, uh, Chain Reaction, and Kinetic Reflection. And this adds a lot to my damage because of the Chain Reaction being boosted to 80%. Especially in a small area like this and using the Pimpernel, you'll take out not only the enemy you phase lock, but almost every enemy near it as well. Phase lock the uh, largest enemy in the room, the one with the most health, like I do now and then just shoot with the Pimpernel and you'll waste everything that got you know close to it like that because of Chain Reaction. And it works very very well. That activates your kill skill uh, Kinetic Reflection which works great with the antagonist to basically reflect all the bullets and uh, keep you very protected from gunfire. Also activated is Life Tap which I only put one point in in the actual skill build but the Calm boosts to five points total in the skill. And because we're doing more damage than we have health at overpower level 8, that particular skill will keep us above health gate most of the time so long as we keep firing and have recently had a kill. And that's really, really cool. Again, here just using uh, kinetic, or no, chain reaction rather, to deal extra damage to the enemies around it. We had about half the health on that particular super badass, or ultimate badass I guess it is. Went ahead and took him out as well, which finished the quest. Finished the quest in pretty quick time. Of course, we were concentrating on the uh, ultimate badass enemies. If you guys would like to see more of this particular build and loadout in action, uh, leave that in the comments and I'll be sure to show you some other maps. I've actually got some other maps already recorded. And they're going really well. I'm quite a fan of this build for mobbing. And I plan to eventually try it out in the peak and see how far I can get with Maya at overpower level 8. So anyways guys, I do thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet, please take the time to subscribe, I'd appreciate that as well. One more quick look at my gear and skill build, and then this video will be ending. So once more guys, I do thank you very much for watching, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye guys.